All right, we're here in Celesta, Crown of the Magister. We've just gotten the second gem, or is it the third gem? The monastery gem. We just got the monastery gem. We finished all that combat, and we are now going to leave... Well, we're not going to leave yet. We are going... Not that way. How do we get out of this place? Tower access. We're going to leave the tower, and we are going to track down the defiled. This might be the final thing that we do in this video series, at least. because I'm getting somewhat weary of recording these videos. Uh, let's see. Barrel with torches and arrows. We don't need that. So we can just... Let's go out here to camp and get a full night's rest. And then we can, uh, we can restore those, uh, detrimental effects that we had from that fight. I don't think we're gonna change our spells or anything. And now where was it that we had to go to chase down this defiler? Adrasia asked you to find the defiler who nests nearby her tower. Return to the ruins outside the Fortress of the Shield. Find the tomb where Razan placed the remains of his family to lure him and put an end to his existence. We will not leave this battle unwon. Wait, is that the tomb? Is that the tomb? Which tomb? There's so many tombs. Let's see, there's a tomb over here. Is it, there's a door there. Was that door there before? I don't remember seeing that door before. This must be the place. Let's save the game before we go kill ourselves. Defiler, I have caps lock on. Pressing return does not save, unfortunately. The sarcophagus does not do anything. Oh, yes, it does. Ah! Oh, there he is. We don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> He's just right there. There's Estella. Estella Razan and somebody else have just appeared. Okay, things are happening right away. I was not expecting this. I thought I was gonna go through a dungeon and then fight him at the end of the dungeon. Okay, uh, what are we fighting? We're fighting Estella. Uh, Estella has floated down and attacked Rurad with claws and bite, hit with a bite and did five necrotic damage, and then it looks like she's trying to fly away, but Ruad and Gilda both get attacks of opportunity, which they will take. Ruad hits. Gilda rolls a natural one, and then Estella flies away. And Razan flies down, hits Ruad for 11 points, R hits Ruad again, drains him. Already, we are behind the eight ball, as it were. Okay, what? What all is happening here? So, we gotta... I feel like we need to light a torch and get some light in this place. Wow, Ruad's already at half health. After, like, one... Oh my god, he took 17 necrotic damage from a bite. And 11 from a rapier attack. And he's drained. 
So, yikes. Rurad is in trouble already. Draining is like really bad. That is a terrible condition. It just like cuts their hit points in half automatically or something. It's insane. All right, everybody's in darkness. Um, I feel like the sensible thing to do would be to get out a torch, run over here, and then do a rapier attack on this brood of flesh. That is a sneak attack hit. And she will do a cunning action disengage and step away. She will step away right back to where she was. Ruad is up. Ruad switching to crossbow so he has a free hand. This looks like a job for... Wait, where did Razan go? Razan disappeared. Oh, he's way out there. Oh my god. Silence is not going to work. Because he keeps... keeps going in and out of the silence area. This is just not going to work. Can we get him in... No, we just... I think we just have to make a silent bubble here right outside of this area and hope for the best he can still cast spells out of there though oh man oh you know I should have done should have done a turn Oh well, we'll do that next turn, if we survive. Okay, Edmund is up. Edmund knows what to do here. Runs into the silence zone. Strikes at the brood of flesh. That's a hit for 21 points. Second attack. That is another... Another hit for 14 points. Bonus action, third attack with the hammer. Misses. Okay, well, that's it, I guess. Hey, let's switch to a torch. Fire in your face. Feel the burn. Okay, broods of flesh are running towards us here. Into the silence zone. <laughs> Brood of Flush strikes at Edmund, but misses. Okay, Gilda is up. Now, Gilda will cast... Hypnotic Pattern? Or do we cast fog to drive I'm gonna cast a fog cloud out here because I want to drive Razan into the silence cone if we can do that. Take that, Razan. And that's her turn. Estella. The fight is not yet over. Ah! Uh, I think you're mistaken, Gilda. I think the fight is over because... <laughs> Estella just floated down and killed Ruad. And the silent spell is gone. Uh, Edmund gets an attack of opportunity. Ah! 
hits for 19 points of damage. The Brood of Flesh swings with disadvantage at Edmund, but misses. Swings again, misses again. Disengages, run away. Razan floats over. Attacks with disadvantage, still hits Edmund. Misses with a bite, though. Does Misty Form. And goes away. Okay. Well, I don't think we're coming back from this. Because, uh... Ruad's down. I think we have to use a potion to heal Ruad. Gonna have to waste our turn on that. He's up with seven hit points. And that is all that she can do. Ruad stands. He is going to... Oh, man. You know, the first thing I thought of doing was doing turn undead. But then if he dies, that's, uh... Indomitable Light? Oh man, we gotta... Okay. Okay, we'll save that. First thing we're gonna do is turn undead. You know, actually there's no point in doing that because... The light will hurt them and that will negate the turn undead. So there's no point in doing that. Alright, so we're gonna save that indomitable light to negate the darkness that is surely coming. Uh, Ruad is going to cure wounds on himself at third level. No, he's going to cure wounds on himself at second level. Wow, a whopping seven points healed. What a waste. Switching to shield... And moving back. And that's all he's going to do. That's all he can do. Legendary action. Here we go. Razan is casting a spell. Gilda will counter it at third level. Counters an unknown spell. That was a slow spell, but it was countered. Edmund is up. Edmund is going to... Wait, one of these is almost dead, isn't it? That one, way over there in the corner. That figures. Ugh. So many. All right, Edmund's just going to swing at the Brood of Dread. <laughs> No quarter given. That's a hit for 10 points. Second attack. Why can't I do a second attack? There we go. That was the wrong thing selected. Oh, that's a miss. Edmund's turn was terrible. He's not going to do any action surges. He's going to hold that torch out because it makes these guys have disadvantage, I think. A brood swings, but misses. A brood bites at Edmund, but misses. It disengages and flees. A brood takes 10 points of radiant damage, swings at Edmund, bites, but misses, and then flees from the light. Okay, Gilda is up. She is concentrating on that fog. Okay, I see a bunch of them bunched up there, so we're going to get rid of that fog, and we're going to cast Hypnotic Pattern. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We can get... Uh, how many of them can we get? Oh, I want to get all four of these if I can place it right. Oh, I can't quite get all four of them. 
because of the placement. Oh, it's not letting me place it where I want it. Ah! Uh, video games! Why won't you let me place it where I want? Okay, I can get... There we go. I think I can get them all... ...with that. I might get Edmund, too. Am I gonna get Edmund in that, too? Yeah, I am, but I got no choice. <laughs> I really have no choice. I gotta do it, because I want all four of them. And not just three of them. If I put it here... I mean, if I put it there... I'll only get... I'll miss the one up there. put it one block over, but I can't. It won't let me move it. It has to be a place you can perceive, I guess. So I want to put it there, but that puts it too far up to get the one on the floor. Ah, uh, so annoying. What if I put it... I can't put it right there. I gotta put it right there. I gotta do that. Sorry, Edmund. I hope you roll a good, uh, saving throw. Yes! They all failed! Including Edmund. But... I think we can... I think we can fix Edmund. I think Ruad has a spell that'll fix Edmund. Alright. That means we only have Razan... ...to fight for the moment. Charmed by hypnosis, yes, Razan floats down. Strikes at disadvantage. Strikes at Edmund, who is charmed. Wow, he rolled two natural runs in a row, yay. And then he misty steps away. That is fine. Okay, we're gonna win this battle. I have a feeling. Um... Okay, um, Elisa can't really get a shot at anybody. Oh, if she goes here, she can get a shot at, uh, Razan. I mean, not that it'll do a whole lot of good, but... He's in darkness, so this will be disadvantage. Might as well. Oh, that'll hit. 10, 10 points of damage. Take that. Ruad is up. Ruad can, I think, step up here. And he can... Let's see. With his bonus action, he is going to... Do a soothing hand on Edmund, which should heal and remove this charm, I hope. Thanks. Did it work? It did not remove the charm. Oh, what? Come on, that was a detrimental effect. It says detrimental condition right there. Why didn't it remove it? Oh, that is messed up. That is so messed up. Okay, well. Oh man, that is that is bad. Well. I mean, I don't know what else to do. So that's all I can do. Can we I mean, Ruad can move up here and maybe try to do a crossbow attack on Razan. That lot of good that's gonna do. Oh, it hits him. Them now. It actually hit him and it did one point of damage. Nice. And now he's gonna run back. Edmund is charmed. That's like a permanent effect, too. Okay, so, uh. Gilda. She's concentrating on the hypnosis, so. There isn't much else she can do. She can try an ice storm. That's silly, but... Can she hit 
Ruad from there. I don't think she can. I mean, Razan from there. She can, actually. So she's going to do a Firebolt at Razan. It's probably resistant to that. Ooh, with disadvantage, still hit. Did 15 points of fire damage. Nice. If we can get Razan down without Edmund, that would be awesome. But Razan floats down, attacks Edmund with disadvantage, still hits. Attacks again with disadvantage, still hits. Wait, who is that? Oh no, that's Razan floating away. Wow, Edmund just got mangled. He took 14 points of piercing damage from the rapier. And he took six points of necrotic damage. And uh, Razan healed himself. Okay, but at least uh, Edmund wasn't drained. Is Edmund still charmed? No, I don't think he is. Edmund is no longer charmed. Yes! Razan! You uncharmed him for me. think. Somebody did. Alright, so let's see. Eliza, Elisa needs to move to where she can get a shot on Razan. So she's going to move into the middle of the room here and she's going to fire at disadvantage because he's still unlit. That's a natural one. Just bad luck. Very bad luck. And then she will move away. That's all she can do. Ruad is up. He will try to find a place where he can attack. And I think he's going to use a bonus action. He's going to do a bonus action healing word on himself. Heals five whopping points of damage. And then he's going to do a crossbow attack on Razan at disadvantage. That's going to be a miss. Come on, you can do better. Actually, that wasn't at disadvantage for some unknown reason. And then he's going to back up a little bit if we can select the spot. Edmund is up. He, um... can't hit the guy because he's too far away. He can use a power to do a second wind. Well, that's 14 points healed. That's nice. He can step over and uh Oh man, I don't wanna I don't wanna put that torch down though. He can't do anything. He just he just cannot do a thing. There's no way he can he can hit the guy, because he can step farther away than I can run up to him. That is some nonsense. Um, all I can do is switch to the crossbow, but once I do that, I'll lose my torch. And then I will be very vulnerable. So he is going to take the dodge action and wait. We will play the waiting game with you, Razan. Razan. Legendary action. Cast the slow spell. Which, oh no, it hits one of the broods of dread and. Oh god, it disengages and runs away. That is some serious nonsense. That <laughs> disengaging and running away thing. That is nonsense. So that slow spell knocked this uh, one Brood of Dread out of the Hypnosis. 
So, okay, Gilda. I mean, she still has to focus on the, that concentration. I was thinking about doing dancing lights, but I can't do that. We could light up that torch right there. That's what we can do. Cast a firebolt on this torch here. That will leave Edmund free. Um, and she's been slowed too. Gilda has been slowed by that spell. Who, who failed their saves? Edmund made his save. Ruad made his save. But Gilda failed the save, so Gilda is slowed. Which is fine, because she's not very fast anyway. So she's gonna stay there. Charmed. What? What? What, what happened to Estella? Why is she not charmed anymore? What happened? Why is the charm falling off here? That's that's really bad. That is super duper bad. The charm just went away. And Gilda is getting mangled. What well, I don't understand what just happened. I think we've lost this fight with that with that charm going down. We've we've totally lost this fight. <laughs> There's no way we're going to survive this fight now. Brood of Flesh is no longer charmed. Gilda rolls a wisdom save against Slow. Is she not concentrating anymore? She must have dropped concentration. Gilda... Gilda is now slowed because she failed her wisdom save. I don't see anything about dropping concentration here. But Estella... Gilda lit up the torch and then she failed a slow saving throw and then the hypnosis dropped. Oh, they all took damage from... She took damage from the torch. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Whatever. We're gonna die now. We're dead. Game over, man. Game over. Uh, well... Let's see if we can kill a brood of flesh before we die. Elisa will attack the brood of flesh. That must have hurt. 13 points of damage, but it was nowhere near enough to kill it. Ruad is up. Can Ruad do anything? He can possibly... I mean, he can do a turn undead, but what's the point with all these torches around? That is so messed up, how it... You can't do a turn undead with these torches around. It just it just don't work. And they're all floating in the air. I can't reach them. Um ay ay ay. Kind of power soothing hand. Uh What? There's my spiritual weapon. Where has that been? Are you telling me that it's been a bonus action cast this whole time? No wonder I didn't know. All right, I'm gonna cast a spiritual weapon, I guess. Put it up there. Spiritual weapon, kill that brood of blood. Um, and now, Rod will 
try to kill this brood of flesh over here with a crossbow, which is gonna fail for sure. Two whole points of damage. Didn't kill him. Well, how do I get my... Okay, yeah, there we go. Sp uh, spiritual weapon, attack this brood of blood. Missed. What a great spell. Totally worthless. Okay, Edmund is not dodging anymore. Edmund cannot reach that guy. He's got to switch to a crossbow and fire at this brood of flesh. Ugh, oh, missed. Come on, Edmund. Finally. Finally, we killed one enemy. Hooray. Hooray for us. Um... I'm gonna have Edmund move over here. Maybe he'll draw some fire. I don't know. Brood of Dread <coughs> strikes at Edmund. Natural one misses. <coughs> Bites at Edmund. Misses. Disengages. Runs. Another one runs down. Bites at Edmund, misses with disadvantage. Disengages, runs away. Gilda is up. Oh, Estella's actually pretty hurt. What about a charm person? Can we do a charm person on Estella? Must be humanoid. That's eh, not the right type. Oh man, that would have been awesome. What about a ray of enfeeblement on Estella? Try that. Fails! Estella is now weakened. Yes! Good job, Gilda. Gilda is drained, too. Wow, she only has three hit points. Ooh, that's not good. She's gonna die. Uh, Estella swings at Gilda, misses. Acilla swings again and misses. Oh, thank God. Gilda gets an attack of opportunity. She will take it. Yeah! Nice move. Wax at Estella for five points of bludgeoning damage. Reza, Razan swings at Edmund, hits. Swings at Edmund again, hits again. These are all disadvantaged and they're still hitting like crazy. Razan. What is wrong with you? Oh man, we're just getting, we're getting mangled in this fight. All right, Elisa. Um, what? What can Elisa even do? Um, nobody's engaged with anybody, so she's not gonna do sneak attack damage. She can't hide anywhere. I mean, yeah. This is bad. Um. Gilda is hurt and bad. Does Elisa have any healing potions? She has one healing potion. Does Elisa have any healing potions? We can't tell because it's not our turn. Elisa desperately needs some healing. Um, okay, Ruad is up next. Ruad can probably get all the way over to Gilda and heal her. Uh, Elisa just can't do anything. All she can do is switch to the torch 
and run up to this brood of dread and try to hit him for minimal eight points of damage because it wasn't a sneak attack. And then she can cunning action disengage and see how you guys like it. How do you guys like being disengaged against? Oh no, a legendary action. It's a slow spell. Oh. Edmund's the only one that failed. Ruad is up. Ruad can run all the way up to Gilda. And must do so. And cast a Cure Wounds at level 3. Because, we, oh man, we don't have any second level spell slots left. Cure Wounds at level 3 on Gilda. 22 death, hit points restored. She's back to full, but she's drained, so it's not exactly full. It's only 25 hit points. Okay, now the spiritual weapon, which is just an amazing thing. Ha ha. Oh my god! I clicked a thing to move instead of attacking. Ugh. I should have attacked. Oh, God. That is so lame. I thought it would be like a player where you could click, you know, a move to a square and then attack. But no, you gotta click on the thing to attack. You can't... You can either move or you can attack. You can't do both with the spiritual weapon. That's lame. Annoying. Well, Edmund is up. And, uh, there isn't much he can do. Because everybody's a million miles away from him. Um, he can step forward. And strike at this Brood of Dread, and maybe... Oh, I only get two attacks. Ten points of damage, a terrible hit. Oh, I can't even do a bonus action. Wow, I only got one hit. That is super lame. Slow. What happened? Somebody hit him. The brood hit him, and then it runs away. So annoying. A brood swings at Edmund, hits him. He's taken a beating. Okay, they're all three there. Can we do something with them all three being bunched up there? Can we not do another hypnotic pattern on them? Take them out of the fight? Oh, we'll lose our ray of enfeeblement, though. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, never mind, never mind. There's nothing... We are gonna die. How about a fireball? Can I do a fireball up there? How about an ice storm? They're probably immune to frost <laughs> damage. Oh man. I can't position it. that. Let's see if I can move all the way over here. Get a better vantage on it. Ice storm. Oh god, it's gonna hit Ruad. Ah! I can't position it! Oh my god, this is so annoying. This positioning thing is so annoying. I can't do it. Gotta do a firebolt. That lot of good that's gonna do me. Probably gonna miss. Well, I don't want to send it at Razan because then he'll try to he'll try to drain somebody. Then all right, let's go for the Brood of Dread. 
I still don't think we're going to win this fight. We're going to lose this. Ah, oh, that was a hit for 10 points of fire damage. Nice. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're way low on everything. Ah, uh, Estella tries to hit Gilda, but misses. Swings again. Claw and Bite both missed. And two people get an attack of opportunity on Estella as she tries to fly away. Edmund and Gilda both taking opportunity attacks. I won't miss next time. Edmund misses. Gilda misses. Ugh. Luck is not on our side. Razan flies down, attacks Edmund, but misses. Attacks again. That's going to hit. 11 necrotic damage. Oh, he's got like one hit point left. Okay, Elisa. Oh my god, what do we do? I mean, she's got a strike at this Brood of Dread. I mean, oh, that's a miss. Better luck next time. Ugh. We got disadvantage on everything. They're they're not engaged with anybody. This is like the worst possible situation for my party. And that's it. That's all she can do. There's nothing else she can do. Ruad's got to come over here and heal Edmund. There's no other choice. Uh, cure wounds at level. I'm gonna do cure wounds at level four on Edmund. Give me a good roll. I owe you one. Eighteen. Whoop de frickin' do. Okay, now with the spiritual weapon, can we? No, we can't. You can't... What? Why can't it attack? It's right next to him. Why can't I attack him? The caster needs to perceive the target. Oh my god, that is super lame. The spiritual weapon is useless. Alright, fine. We'll just move it there, I guess. Edmund is up. Nobody's in range. Literally nobody. He can't do a damn thing except stand there. Uh, I guess he can try to move over here to get some shots. You know, he should use a healing potion. That's what he should do. He's going to drink a potion. Whoop-dee-doo. Seven hit points restored. A brood comes down, swings at Ruad with disadvantage, misses, bites, misses, and runs away. Another brood comes down. You're still in the fight, my friend. Whoa, with disadvantage, hits for 15 necrotic damage and regains life. Great, great, fantastic. Ruad's hurt. Guild. Everybody's hurt. We gotta spend every turn healing ourselves now. We just can't do any offensive stuff. We're just not even making any progress. We're just clinging. We're just barely keeping our heads above water here. And Gilda can't do anything. She Now Ruad's in the way. Can't can't cast my thing. Uh What do we do? What do we do? Estella is still weakened. Oh, it's only half damage on strength-based attacks? Oh, man. Rua 
Ruad is drained. Gilda is drained. Ruad has a max hit points of 13 now. Ridiculous. There is no way we're winning this fight. I don't know why I'm still even trying to win. There's just no way we're gonna win. We're just... We've just been treading water for a couple of rounds now. Once that hypnosis went down, it was game over. Um... I mean, what? I can't do anything. I just cannot do anything. Maybe I need to... run out of here? But it's, it's nighttime outside. It's not gonna help me any. I feel like we're not in a good place here because of uh, the positioning. But I don't... I don't know. I just... I can't do anything. I just can't do anything. I can try an Ice Storm, but it's going to hit Ruad, and we don't want that. I can't perceive these targets up there, so I can't place it there. Oh, wait! Wait! I can put it right there. Is that going to hit Ruad? I think that'll miss Ruad. Go for it. My first fourth level spell. Victory is mine! Yay! Well, we killed one of them. Good job, Gilda. Two of them made their saves. Oh, they're hurt. They are actually pretty hurt. Does that just keep going? Oh, that's a cool spell. Oh! Estella's upset about that. Flies down to strike at Gilda, but misses. Strikes a second time, but misses. Gilda gets an attack of opportunity as Estella tries to fly away. Misses yet again. And yay, they fly right back into the storm. Razan flies down, hits Gilda. That's gonna hit, obviously, because Razan hits every time, even with disadvantage. Although he missed that time, yay. Gilda was struck by necrotic damage. Will maintain concentration on the weakening spell. Okay, Elisa is up. Can Elisa do anything useful? Can Elisa perhaps strike at Estella? There's just, there's no way we're gonna win this. I don't know why I'm even trying to win this fight. There's no way. It's unlit. It's gonna be a disadvantage. Ugh. I gotta try. I just, I gotta do some damage somehow. I can't just sit here and not do damage. Disadvantage. Hits for 12 points on Estella. She's wounded. Not dead yet. <laughs> oh my god, I wish I could do more damage. Why can't I do more damage? Legendary action from Razan. This is it. This is game over, probably. Slow spell. Elisa fails. Everybody else saved, though. Ruad is up. Ruad needs to heal himself. He can't really do anything else. Man, all of my damage is melee damage. I just cannot do anything at range. Um... He's got to cure himself. He's just got to waste a turn curing himself. He's got no choice. Just has no choice. cure myself. I can't do anything except cure myself. 
nine points healed. So he's all the way up to his maximum of 13 hit points. Huh. Spiritual weapon, can you do anything? Wait, let's, let's Ruad move back a little bit so you can perceive something. Okay, his spiritual weapon can smack at Estella. Yeah! Misses! Spiritual weapon has been 100% ineffective in this combat so far. Edmund is um oh he's got a potion of speed and an unidentified potion huh does is he under the slow spell I feel like it might be a good thing for him to take that. He's not under the slow spell. I think he's gonna he's gonna take that potion of speed. Hasted. And can he strike anybody? He can take a shot at Estella. Disadvantage. Nope. Regular strike. Well struck. Two points? It only does half damage. Oh, what a waste. What a waste. That's all I can do. Can't do anything else. Just gotta hope for uh, the dice. Yeah. Ooh. Brood swings at Ruad. Misses. Brood did not move? Gilda is up. Gilda... Oh, man. I, d I can't just spend all my turns taking healing potions. Because that does not help. I gotta... Oh, God. Can we do a magic missile? Yeah. First level magic missile. Ugh. Ugh. I just, I can't, I just, I need to put somebody down. Somebody needs to die for us to make progress in this fight. And I don't think I can do enough damage. 15 points, I can't do 15 points with a magic missile. Could try a fireball. I think they might be immune to... Or I can try a fireball. That's, that's all I can do. Oh, will that actually hit? Can I possibly get... Oh, can I? No, I can't quite get this other one in the range. Man, that's a huge area of effect for that fireball. I'm trying to see if I can... Uh, I can't quite get the other one. Alright, let's... let's Fireball! Here we go! Death claims you! Yes! Estella is down! There are only two remaining enemies. Oh boy. One of them is at full strength still, because we haven't touched him yet. Oh, Razan bites at Edmund, misses. Bites again, two natural ones in a row, misses. That is so lucky. Man, that misty step away is just brutal. There is no way to follow him. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. This brood of blood, for whatever reason, decided to stay engaged with enemies. Uh, so... 
Elisa is going to fire plus one arrows into its face. Misses! Lucky. Ah! Incredible. Now she's slowed anyway. Oh, I don't think she would have done sneak attack energy anyway. All right, now she's no longer slowed. Okay, Ruad is here. Ruad, because this brood of blood is standing right next to him, he can now do an inflict wounds, and he's going to do that at level 3 because I want to do some damage on this thing. Come on! Misses! Dear God, what is happening? Um, spiritual weapon, we can bring it down. Hit this thing. Misses! Spiritual weapon, third miss in a row. What a complete waste of a spell. Edmund is up. Edmund is hasted. Edmund's gonna run over here. And smack this brood of blood. One attack. Hits. Like rest. 19 points. Second attack. <sighs> Misses. Oh my god. Come on. Third hasted attack. <sighs> Misses. This is ridiculous. Bonus action. Warhammer. Strike. <gasps> Misses again. Oh, this is killing me. It's ridiculous. Is it? No, I'm not going to action surge. That'd be a waste. Oh, man. Ruad should have healed Edmund. The brood strikes at Ruad but misses. Disengages. Now runs away. Great. Now it's disengaging. Okay, Gilda. Running out of spells quickly. I think I need to get Edmund up on this shelf up here. Um... What if I put a fog cloud down here? I'm trying to figure out how to keep this guy within striking distance. Um... I just don't know. Well... You know, actually, Gilda, I think, instead of trying to do damage, Gilda is going to run up here and give a healing potion to Edmund. I mean, it's not going to be much, but seven more points. we got to keep Edmund up. Probably should have used that on herself, but she's only got, like, 25 hit points. And she is going to move back into this corner. Razan floats down, strikes at Edmund, misses, strikes again, misses again. Oh, thank God this has disadvantage. And then it moves away again. Ugh, Brood of Blood is not engaged with anybody. Gilda should have moved over here to engage with the Brood of Blood. Um... I mean, what can we do? What... What do we have? Do, is there anything we can do that would <laughs> kill this thing in one shot? Nope, nothing at all. And a corrosive arrow. Let's put a corrosive arrow in there. I think I just used up my action, didn't I? No, I didn't. Corrosive arrow on the brood of blood. Go on. Oh, nice. That did uh, twelve points of damage. Still nowhere near dead, but something. Um, and then she is gonna run over here. Legendary action. Slow spell, probably. Yeah. Uh, 
Gilda slowed. Everybody else is okay. Okay, who's up? Ruad is up. Ruad. I think you need to do a heal on Edmund. Man, we are running out of spells quick here. You know, actually, no, you're going to use a potion on Edmund. Ten points, that's better. And what else can we do? We can do a soothing hand. Wait, what are there? We can do a soothing hand. Oh, let's do a shield of faith. Shield of faith on Edmund. Nice. And that's it. Edmund. Perhaps our last chance to win this fight strikes at the Brute of Blood for 18 points of damage. Second attack. Hits for another 13 points. Let's... Yeah. Third attack. It's dead. The Brute of Blood is dead. There's only one left. Razan, who is completely fresh <laughs> and 100% full of health. So... Edmund is going to run up on this shelf. I think he needs to be up here. And that's it. That's all he's going to do. Okay, Gilda. Gilda, I think I want Gilda to cast a fog cloud. So I want to drive this guy up onto this shelf somehow. How do we do that? Okay, Gilda's slowed, so she can't really do a lot. I think I want to do this fog cloud right down here, because I want to force this guy up. I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna fog the place down here. Maybe that'll keep him from coming down here. Gilda's no longer slowed. Razan floats over to Edmund. Strikes, but misses. Strikes again. Oh, that's gonna hit. No, it misses. Why is he missing now? And then, oh, he goes down here. Oh, interesting. Right next to Elisa, for weird reasons. I mean, she can attack him. But I think she is going to cunning action disengage. And she is going to come up here. Okay, you're tough. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Okay, Ruad is up. He is concentrating on Shield of Faith. What can we do? What can we do? I think I want him to get out of this fog too. So I'm going to have him come up here in this corner. Or no, I'm going to have him come up here in this corner near the, the light. Positioning ourselves. Spiritual weapon, where can spiritual weapon go? 
Can the spiritual weapon attack this guy? Probably not. Oh, maybe it can. Hey, let's try it. Spiritual weapon flies over. <laughs> Misses completely for the fourth time in a row. Spiritual weapon, 100% useless. Edmund is up. He actually... He can move down there and get a shot at this guy. Striking. Wait, wait, wait. Can we move one position over? Ah, oh, he's still obscured. Oh, man. Okay, well, these are going to be a disadvantage, I think. Still hits. 19. Second attack. Still hits. 12. Third attack. Misses. Action surge. This might be our only shot at this guy. Hits for 17. Fourth attack. Hits again. 20 points. Bonus action. Warhammer strike. Misses. That's the first time we've done damage to him. Oh, man. Legendary action coming up. A bite. Misses Edmund. Oh, thank God. Okay. Gilda is is up. I think she... Is she still slowed? She's drained, but she's not slowed. So let's have her dash up on this... on this shelf. I know kids who do that faster. Uh -huh. Let's put her right here. Legendary action. Bites at Edmund. Misses. Oh, thank God. Bites at Edmund again. Oh, that's a rapier attack. And a bite attack. All missing. And then... Flies up into the window here. Uh... Bu -bu -bu -bu. Elisa... Can't get a shot at him. I think she is going to take out a torch and run right up in his face. Razan healed 15 points from regeneration. Attack. Rapier attack. Ah, misses. Should we disengage? No, I think I'm going to stand right there. Maybe... No, that's a bad idea. Let's do a cunning action. Disengage. And step back one. Legendary action coming up. Slow spell. Oh. Elisa failed slow. Gilda saved. Ruad is up. We got a Herald of the Sun. I'm thinking about using that. Herald of the Sun. Divinity to engulf a visible enemy within six cells with radiant light. That should do damage. If they didn't make their saving throw. But they did uh, take nine points of radiant damage, so that's something, I guess. Spiritual weapon, can you get up here? Probably not. 
gonna leave the spiritual weapon there, because you know the Rizan's just gonna come floating right back down here. Edmund is up. Edmund cannot get up there in time. Which means he is negated. He is out of this fight. Um, if we take one step over, we should be able to get some crossbow hits on this guy, right? He's in darkness, though. Maybe. First attack. Oh, take that. Hits, but it's regular damage, so not very much. Second attack. Another hit. Oh, no longer concentrating on slow. Nice. Third attack. That's a hit. And then let's, uh, let's run up here. To prepare for the next round. Clearly you have trained well. Gilda is up. Does Gilda have a huge damage spell? Gilda does not. She will fire a firebolt. 13 points of damage. I think the tide is turning now. I think we might have this guy. All we need to do is put some damage on him if he will stay in range. Round 13, Razan floats up to Gilda. Strikes with the rapier but misses. Bites but misses. And then Misty steps right down to where Edmund is and regenerates. Awesome. Oh man, is are they engaged? I don't think they're engaged. Okay. Elisa's gonna come down here and fire at Razan. That's disadvantage and misses. Ruad is up. Um, what can Ruad do? Not much. Healing word on anybody. I'm not too worried about Gilda going down because um, Edmund is the, the damage dealer, so... Gilda's not going to do damage to put that guy down. Um, spells. Daylight, Spirit Guardians. We're already concentrating on something, though, aren't we? Shield of Faith. Yeah, let's keep that up. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Just do a crossbow attack. It's probably gonna miss, but that's all we can do. Oh, it hits. Two points of damage. Take that, Rezon. And take this spiritual weapon. We'll try for its fifth attack of this combat. Boopy doopy doop. It hit! It actually hit for nine points of damage. Unbelievable. Okay. Edmund is prepared to strike repeatedly. We're in range, right? No, we're not in range. Oh, I gotta jump down. Which way? Let's jump down here. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. Because now we're heavily obscured. Should have gone the other way. Can I still do that? Can I still make it over there? Yeah. I think I'm still heavily secured. Ah, no we're not. Okay. First attack. You'll die like the rest. That is 13. 12 points of damage, I mean. Second attack. That is 18 points. Third hasted attack. 
That is given. 14 points. Bonus action hammer attack. Misses. And that's all we can do. Razan is very close to death. Probably take a couple more rounds. Legendary action. Bites at Edmund and hits for 8 points of necrotic damage and heals himself for 8 points. Well, that's a bummer. Alright, Gilda is up. Can Gilda cast a fire bolt on Razan? Whoa! Hits for 17 points of fire damage. Big hit from Gilda at a timely moment. Legendary action from Razan. Another bite on Edmund. Hits for 8 necrotic and heals for 8. Razan attacks with a rapier but misses. Razan Rizan attacks with a bite but misses. And then teleports away. As per usual. Elisa will fire at disadvantage, naturally. Well, that's gonna hit 12 points of damage, yes. That's the end of her turn. Legendary action. Slow spell, of course. Ugh. Oh, all three of them made their saves, nice. We're all bunched up together, so all three of them got slowed. But they were, they made their saves, so they were not slowed. Good job. Uh, Ruad is going to cast a Guiding Bolt at level 3 at this sucker. Come on. Try again. Missed. Oh, the humanity. That could have put him away, but it did not. Edmund is a million miles away from where he needs to be. So he is going to jump up here and then... That's uh, impressive. You know, he really needs to put himself... He's going to switch to crossbow and fire. This might do it. One hit. No, it's not going to do enough damage. Second hit. That's another five points. Hasted action. That's a miss. That's all he can do. Next turn, Gilda will cast a Firebolt on Razan. Most unfortunate, that. Technically misses, but still does six damage. Razan floats down, swipes at Gilda with the rapier, but misses. Strikes again with a bite, but misses. And then teleports away, a million miles away. A million billion miles away. Elisa has a shot. She'll take it. He's healed himself for 15 points. That's a hit for 11 points. All we have to do is get Edmund in range of this guy. In melee range. Ruad. Can we, can we cast another spell? Can we try it? Let's try a, a level one guiding bolt now. That's probably gonna miss because it's disadvantage. Miss! Ruad, you are the worst. Ruad is completely out of spells now, I think. Edmund is up. Can he get within range, within melee range? It looks like he can. He absolutely can get within melee range. He is gonna sprint. First attack. He's going down. Ten points of damage. You are going down, Razan. Go to hell. Yes! Second attack strikes down Razan. The 
battle is won. I can't believe I won that. I thought for sure I was gonna die in that fight. Gilda doesn't need to hold on to that fog anymore. Wow. Edmund is lethargic because he because of the haste wearing off. We got a remarkable crossbow bolt. Whoop de doo. And a regular crossbow bolt. What other uh what else do we have? Ooh, a beautiful cloak. Oops. No, I was trying to pick that stuff up. How do we do this? There we go. That's how we do that. Uh, gold locket. That's just regular loot. Flowers. A note. A farewell letter. Letter. Is this going to make us feel sad for Razan? Farewell, old friend. Never again shall you warm my skin and soothe my sadness. Today I embrace the night. Today I enter eternity. I reject the gods and their power. I become one with darkness. Estella Mertvika. <laughs> Estella... Mutvika. That was Estella, huh? Reborn, 1024 AC. Poor Estella. We did it. Now what? We still can't go through that door. We completed... the quest. The Shadow of the Defiler. You kept your promise to Adrastia and destroyed Razan. Yay! We succeeded! There is nothing left except to return to Kerr Kiflin. But first we will lick our wounds and do a short rest to start with. Although we might as well do a long rest. Oh, I just realized I have a ring that I haven't attuned to. <laughs> I wonder if that ring would have helped. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go camp. I think we should camp after that, because that was... That was brutal. You are missing four units of food? What? I can't camp without food? Oh man, that stinks gonna starve to death. Well, I guess instead of resting, then we will go to the, uh, to the platform and go to Kerr Kiflin. Take the major gate back to Kerr Kiflin. Man, that would be something if we, uh, starve to death after all that. After defeating the Defiler... Instead of celebrating victory, we starve to death. <laughs> that would be cruel. Alright, where's this uh, major gate? Tower access. Major gate. Take me to the major gate, please. We are returning to Kerr Kiflin. And here we will report our successes and hopefully get some food. Actually, we'll go to the tavern and, and rest. That's what we'll do. They will surely have... Uh... Oh, somebody's there. Okay, well, we're not going to do that yet. We will stop here for now. And next time we will find some food and rest and all that stuff. But for now, we are victorious.